Uh, this is a very important day for UNLV. If you think about what we're trying to do with the university, we're moving forward as a, not only as a research university to the Carnegie Tier 1, but a part of that strategy and a very fundamental part of the strategy is also making ourselves more form formidable in the Mountain West and ultimately positioning ourselves down the road uh, for a move to the Power Five conferences. And so athletics is part and parcel with the strategy of what we're doing with this institution. And so this hire for the new athletic director is one of the most important hires It's certainly that, that I've had to participate in while I've been here now for my two years and a little bit. So when I say this is an important day, I really mean it. It's important for the entire uh, university and the entire rebel nation. Before we begin, I've got a couple of thank yous, and, and uh, Tina couldn't be here with us today, but I do want to say thank you, and I'm sure everybody feels a, a big sense of gratitude for Tina Kunzer Murphy for her passion and dedication to this university for the past four years in the role that she's been in in athletics. She, she's, a, she's born of this city, of this university. She is uh, you know, uh, fundamental to who, to who we are. I mean, that's a, she, she embodies the rebel spirit perhaps better than anyone. So I want to thank her for what she's done in positioning athletics for us to be able to, to then do what we're doing here today. I also want to thank Nancy Rappaport, uh, uh, my consigliere, and uh, who led the search and, uh, and the entire search committee. And I know Governor Bob Miller is here. We had several others here. I, I noticed around the audience from on campus and off who were involved in the search committee. And I want to thank you for a job well done. Round of applause for them. Good job. And, and Nancy, the process went flawlessly, and uh, we, we arrived at a great outcome, as I'm sure you'll agree. We had a, a, a great pool of candidates, over 60 folks, that, and we got it down to 60 candidates uh, that all met at least the minimum criteria. And then we had a good group that we did our airport interviews with just a short time ago. And we had a lot of great candidates uh, to choose from, uh, but one stood out uh, from all of them. And, and really, I'm not kidding, but really knocked our socks off in the airport interviews just a, just a week or so ago. That's Desiree. Uh, incredible. We knew on paper that she looked great, and then when she came in, the presence and how she did with us in the interview was just unbelievable. I mean, it was that good. And I'm sure you've all saw over the week with the reports that have gone out, and you've read little bits about her bio, but she's got the great Power Five experience coming from Virginia Tech and Tennessee and other schools prior to that. She'd also had some NFL experience, a little bit with the Raiders. That's going to come in handy over the next couple of months as we negotiate a lease and a, and a shared use agreement, which we're, we're already talking about. Um, uh, and then also, though, I, I liked that you know, people were speculating that whoever was going to be sitting next to me was going to have a University of Arizona connection. And you're actually right. She does. Uh, she's got a law degree, a JD from the University of Arizona, and that, and that law background, and, and was a practicing attorney. Uh, that law background is going to come in handy, not only uh, as we negotiate, navigate through here with the Raiders in the NFL, but well, be well beyond that with what we're doing in athletics. But she's got everything, both inside and outside of athletics, all the things you'd like to see in a candidate on the inside, in managing facilities and operations and marketing and ticket sales and all that, but then also a lot of experience on the, on the external parts of athletics, which, as we all know, in this city, in Las Vegas, are so important, such an important part of the job here. And so this is, uh, she has the, the total package, as they say, brings everything that we were looking for uh, and more with over two decades of leadership experience in NCAA athletics and great leadership skills and a great vision for UNOV athletics. Uh, so uh, I, I have to tell you, I, I am really excited about where we're going next with athletics. Uh, this is going to be a fun ride. It's great to see this big crowd here with us today. I'm sure you're excited as well. It's going to be fun here this next little bit for Rebel Athletics. So I'm, I'm proud to welcome Desiree and her family, husband Joshua and her son Jackson. And I've met your mom and dad and everyone that you've got here today. That's fantastic. And I'm proud to introduce our next athletic director, Desiree Reed Francois. Thank you. Thank you all so very much. I have been looking forward to this day for about 20 years, I think. So um, I, it's such a privilege to see everybody here today. And President Jessup, thank you very much for this unbelievable opportunity and for your faith in me. I'm honored by the trust that you've given, and I'm going to work tirelessly to make you proud. So thank you. 
Thank you to Nancy Rappaport. Your energy is unbelievable. My goodness, I cannot wait to work with you. So thank you for the professionalism with which you've guided this search. Thank you also to Todd Turner. I appreciate all that he did in guiding this search as well. I know that uh, I also want to thank the search committee. Thank you for hiring me. I really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> and um, I want to thank the Nevada Board of Regents. I am truly humbled to join you, this great institution, and the entire UNLV community. I will work tirelessly every day, and I will continue to earn your trust. I know President Jessup mentioned my husband, Josh. We've been married for 15 years, um, and we have a wonderful son, Jackson, who is 12 and has hit the bookstore um, and is, has more pins on his lapels than I can possibly imagine. Um, <laughs> and uh, thank you both for your patience, for your support, and your encouragement. And thank you for moving all across the country this way and that. So I appreciate you both. Um, I am truly blessed, and I know we cannot wait to get here into Las Vegas. I come from a family of teachers, including my father, Don, who's here today, and he's here with my mother, Gloria Jean Reed. They gave me the foundation to grow as a person. They taught me to treat people respectfully, um, to pursue excellence. Thank you very much to both of you. My brother, Roman, is here. Um, Roman, your courage through hardship like the, everybody with disabilities, is truly inspiring. Thank you. My extended family, the Francois and the Smiths are here, and my nieces are here. Um, I truly appreciate you all making the effort to come, and thank you for sharing. You guys are, know Las Vegas very well, and I appreciate you sharing your insights. So thank you for being here. And I was promised that I would have free car washes for life, so thank you, Freddie. <laughs> I've been very fortunate to learn from some of the best athletic directors in the country. And one of them is here today, Whit Babcock. Whit, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you sincerely for the special faith that you put in me, and I appreciate all that you've done to help me to be here today. Um, I've had many mentors and colleagues along the way who have taught me so much. And I am truly appreciative from President Sands at Virginia Tech, President Chang, Commissioner Swafford, athletic directors like John Curry and Mike Hamilton, Jeremy Foley and Debbie Yao, sports leaders like Brian Burke and Patty Phillips, and amazing coaches and colleagues and teams that it has been my privilege to be a part of. I also would like to say thank you um, to someone who's not here with us anymore. And, the late Coach Pat Summit. Coach Summit, she taught me that you can be strong and still be kind. And that's a lesson that I really treasure. It has been my distinct privilege to work these past 20 years in college athletics. And I say privilege because it truly is. We have the opportunity to impact student athletes' lives. We have the opportunity to build teams. And I started in college athletics because I am passionate about building teams. My first team was my brother and me. Uh, when I was a little girl growing up in the San Francisco Bay Area, Roman and I played every sport. Um, I was a rower, but he's the real athlete. You're like, you're six feet tall, you must have played basketball. Um, well, as I told Coach earlier, I'm really, really clumsy and um, <laughs> no eye-hand coordination, as Roman will tell you. Um, and so I'm a rower uh, and a runner because it doesn't require any motor skills. Anyway, um, <laughs> we, my brother and I, we dreamed of him being the professional uh, football player. He was going to play for the San Francisco 49ers. We grew up in the Bay Area. It's kind of like you have to be a 49ers fan and a Raiders fan, of course. Um, and, but in 19, and I was going to be his lawyer. And in 1994, uh, our, a football accident changed our lives and it changed our dreams. Roman became a quadriplegic while playing football. However, the story doesn't end there. It was the lessons we learned in athletics of resiliency, determination, and a relentless competitive drive that caused our dreams to take a different course. Roman went on to graduate from Cal, and he works in spinal cord research. And I went on to become an attorney, but my dream became finding a way for, to help other student athletes achieve theirs. 
Collegiate athletics has the unique ability to educate, to unite, and to inspire. And together, we can do all of that at UNLV. I am so looking forward to getting started and getting to know all of you here at UNLV. UNLV is dynamic. It's different, it's daring, and it's diverse. And there are great things happening at this university under President Jessup, our board's leadership, and our community's care. From the creation of the medical school, the enhancement and development of athletic facilities, to the arrival of the NFL and the NHL, my family and I are really looking forward to joining this dynamic community. Las Vegas is iconic in America and around the globe. Whatever it touches, it makes it bigger, and it makes it grander. That's what I think we all want for UNLV athletics. After first meeting with President Jessup and through our series of conversations, I became so impressed with his character and his vision for UNLV athletics. He wants us to be the model intercollegiate athletic program, and I am so excited in partnering with him and achieving that. He wants to see athletics done the right way. And I'm looking forward to building on the foundation that my predecessors, including most recently Tina Kunzer Murphy, and many folks in this room have helped to establish. To our UNLV community, we are going to accomplish great things together. And I say together because that's the only way we can do things. That's the only way we can take this momentum and inspire a championship culture. We'll do things the right way. We're going to build a department that leads the Mountain West academically, athletically, and administratively. We'll create an environment for our coaches and our staff and our student athletes to be successful, an environment where all of our decisions are made with our best interest of our student athletes. We'll create memorable experiences for those student athletes, our fans, and our community. And quite simply, we're going to win. And we're going to do everything possible to make this dynamic university and this world-class city proud. To our coaches, our student athletes, and all members of the UNLV community, I'm excited to join this team. I'm excited to listen to you and to learn from you and to apply our collective skills and experiences to make UNLV athletics the very best in the Mountain West and beyond. UNLV is a place where great things have happened UNLV is a th place where great things will happen again. I cannot wait to get started, and I am so proud to be a rebel. So thank you very much. And if you don't have any other questions, we can end this press conference right now. <laughs> I have to stay up here, don't I? <laughs> I usually don't need a microphone, but that's okay. Um, Steve Shore, The Now Report, Las Vegas. Uh, probably one of your biggest challenges initially is going to be working out the agreement uh, on the Raiders Stadium. Um, with some background with the Raiders, how do you protect and how do you see protecting UNLV's interest in that stadium, in the field, and what uh, UNLV will be known for at that stadium? I think it's really a testament to the city of Las Vegas that you've got the NHL, the NFL coming here. I mean, that just says how what a dynamic and exciting place when all these professional teams want to be here. Um, I look, competition is great, right? We love competition, especially in this city. And it's going to make us better at UNLV athletics, but make no mistake about it. I work for UNLV athletics, and that's where my interests lie. And that's who I'm representing. Thank you. Uh, Mark Anderson, Las Vegas View Journal. Oh, thank you. Can you, can you just talk about uh, your, your philosophies when it comes to fundraising? I love fundraising, and I see a lot of potential donors in this room. So, I <laughs> <laughs> so you might want to leave the room now before I hit you up. No, um, fundraising, we're going to be very aggressive in the revenue generation space. And I know there are so many people that care about UNLV athletics. We're going to have a plan. We're going to invite people to participate 
and we're going to be great stewards of our resources, and we're going to say thank you. But I know that when I get asked to write a check, I want to make sure that I know that my money is being well spent. And so that's my job, right, to create that environment, have that plan, so that our donors have faith in what we're trying to do. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to create, lead, develop leaders and win championships and make this community proud. Uh, Mike Romalo with the Las Vegas Sun. At any point during the, the interview or hiring process, did you reach out to any mentors or colleagues for their opinions on the UNLV uh, job and the situation? And if so, what was, that, what was that input and what did you hear from those people? Well, one of them's here right now, so you could just have Wit answer this question. Um, but I, I was, uh, yes, I definitely did. And um, I, uh, you know, I've never been an athletic director before, and I recognize there's a lot of things I don't know. And I, when I don't know something, I call people who do. And I reached out to several of my mentors and said, you know, hey, what do you think about this? And um, they gave me great advice. And they recognized what a special place this was. And they could tell probably in my voice how excited I was and just really what a great fit and what an opportunity this was. Hello, Amber Dixon, NBC Las Vegas. What do you believe to be the most pressing issue that this athletics department faces? Probably my first priority will be that I really want to listen to our staff. Our folks that are here, I want to get to know them. I want to get to know their families. I want to listen and really develop a plan together. I can't do it by myself. And they're experts. They're here on the ground. And I want to hear from not only our athletic department staff, but folks in the community, my colleagues on campus, of course, President Jessup. Um, and I really want, want to listen and learn. And then we'll come up with a plan together. So that's my top priority. Well, th thank you all very much, and go Rebels! Just again, thank you all for being here today. Uh, we'll do uh, some breakouts right now with the media, probably up, up here near the front. Thanks again. <laughs>